Hey everybody, this is Zola Maniac, and welcome back to Eternal Darkness, Sandy's Requiem. Last time, we started to investigate the ruins of Enga, and we got half of the circle of power done. This time, we are hopefully going to finish this chapter off. Now let's go. Okay, no trappers here, that's good. Paragon. Now, let me shield up. Because I don't know what's gonna be waiting for me. Oh, this is this is an easy room. Pull the lever. Oh shit, maybe that was the wrong lever. Edward, you're not helping your case with being an alcoholic. I mean, for crying out loud. He's got this here! Liquid courage, yeah. Alright, well, that one is- a, that one was an easy one. So... On to the next one. Every time I teleport to one of the points, I'm scared that there's a trapper. Or I have to fight one of those abstract monster things. Okay, where are we now? Huh. Oh no, I know this one. Just run, Edward. We're almost done with this anyway. Just go in the door. It's not gonna bite you. I'm surprised nothing else in this place is alive. And where are we now? Oh, hello. Hold on. Let me kill you. Let me kill you. Hold still, I just want to kill you! Said every serial killer in the planet. On the planet. No.
that a river of blood? In the streets of Sedan, blood flows along channels gouged in stone. Well, it was right. For an unfathomable purpose to nourish the city's parasitic citizens, which would be used to feel as it would dark magic. Nope. We're killing them. Okay. Um, where is the... Oh, there it is. Keep running, Eddie. Oh, fuck, I went the wrong way. Okay. Catch your breath a bit. There. Now let's get back. All right. We got one more to go. And I know after that's done, Things are gonna get wild. And I'm sure you're probably thinking like, oh, she's just joking. No, I'm not. We sit down the last rune. Just gonna update this. And it's complete. Edward's meddling with their rays has conjured incredible energies that are now building inside the city. It can't be contained for long. Edward needs to escape the city. In other words, we gotta get our ass out of here. At this point, I don't bother with the monsters. Just run. Edward, you have to run for your life. Okay, you know what? Fuck them. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that one too. Goodbye. And yes, your controller will vibrate if you have a wired one and rumble on. There. Definitely safe now.
48 years later. The fact that he just accepts Do you bring news of disaster, Augustus? And if not, we wonder why not, since disaster has struck. Yes. Your colony of guardians in the ruins of Engar has been eradicated. A great magic wrought massive destruction there. Not a single guardian escaped. Your concern is touchy, but out of place. That is the only disaster you report? Yes, my magnificence. There are no others. And what of your treachery to us? Treachery? All in good time. It matters not that you bear us ill will, Augustus. But you come to no end. You lack the power. Or even elevate yourself to our level. The future has unfolded before me through a vision. One of my many visions. A vision of my conquering the absent horror. Uliao, master of the planes. The magic of the planes is no match for the power of the mind. And thus, it will be destroyed. Then the gates shall be opened, and you shall once again grace the earth with your presence. Master, I bring thee grave news. A colony of guardians in the ruins of Engar has been decimated. Without them, I fear we are lost. No fears, I am silent. I have seen the future that you come to pass. In this vision, I see myself crushing Zenatos, as I was destined to do. My many mouths consume its body from all sides, gnawing at it until nothing remains. This I have seen. This is what will be. You would place all our faith in a vision? Yes. Just as I have placed all my faith in you. Master, I am saddened to report the destruction of the Guardian Colony at the Ruin of Enga. I am not without eyes, servant. I knew of their loss as it happened. It is not a concern of mine. The Guardians were merely tools to forward the greater cause. Think of them as casualties of war. But the balance of power has shifted with their loss. Nonsense! Balance? There has never been balance. If anything, we shall remove all balance. Our plan continues as predicted. I have seen the future, Pius, and it portends a great battle between myself and the great being of matter. Chaturga will fall to my superiority. The power of Chaturga is useless against me. Of course, as it was meant to be. The gates will be readied, just the same. We shall overcome. Be patient, my servant. Be patient. A small note, written on a page from the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Dear Alex, I have left you a small thing going with it by several barrel of it in the basement. Help yourself what you can find. My guess is that I won't be needing it. Your loving grandfather. Okay, now let's see. Oh, we got a pickaxe. Because I'll be honest, I can't tell if it's the game itself or 
something else. And it's like nothing here has been touched. It's the blood, blood. Boarded up windows. Okay. Let me grab what's in the middle. There it is. An antique stethoscope, similarly accidentally dropped in a pile of ash, glints brightly in the light of the room. A scrap of paper, unmarked by the fire, slides amongst the bones and ashes. A page for Maximilian. Nestled on the bed of ashes are the remains of three people. Was this the duty that Maximilian had hinted at? Had he suspected that his servants were not human? But there are four clearly, clearly occupied beds, and only three skulls. What happened to the fourth? I don't know, Alex. As I contemplated these ideas, my suspicions of my servants grew, and I became increasingly fearful of them. I began to watch them carefully. Days ago, I watched one of them stretch his neck. I could have sworn I saw it twist in the most peculiar direction and a bulge of muscle tissue caused and grow in the most incorrect of manners, as if bone was being displaced from its proper location, and something else moving in its place. I stumbled away knowing that I was surrounded by unholy creatures that wore the skins of mortal men and women. I had to think, Dear God, let my hand be swift and merciful, lest the world see me more of these diabolical creatures. And I think I've read these two. Yeah, I think so. No, no, no. Alex, run. Oh shit. Yes, it's a lovely it's a lovely portrait. Back up. Okay, I heal upper. Oh, 
Okay, there's a little glitch there again. Gonna heal up now before something happens. Oh, thank god. I was scared it wasn't gonna work. Because these zombies are... in the damn way. Okay, let's just kill him to restore some sanity. Since losing too much does damage your health. Actually, yeah, if you lose all of it, your health gets... ...is taken away. Oh boy. I hate this thing. Now that Alex has the stethoscope, she can easily hear the tumblers inside. To open the safe, the dial should be turned to the right until its tumblers can be heard falling into place, and then turn to the left until the same sound is heard, and finally to the right until the sound of the safe being unlocked is heard. Oh, this thing sucks. Well, let's give it a shot. I think it's more annoying than the water puzzle in Prison Evil 3's water puzzle. De -do -de -de -de.
Many important items left behind by Edward. Why on the shelves inside? Augustus, a storm of metal and fire, and a torrent of souls along with it, young and vibrant. Yes, I have seen it coming. A worthy sacrifice, I am sure, and one that will allow the greater guardian that resides below to finish its channeling. Sacrifice of souls I make unto thee, great one. The gate shall be ready to be opened, and your freedom shall be at hand. All right. And with that, dear Alexandra. If you are reading this, Alex, then I am surely dead. Knowing that the police will contact my only living relative, I made sure to leave this message for you. As I write this letter, Pius Augustus is waiting for his chance to strike me down for what I have done to the Guardian City. I believe I have slowed Augustus's plans, but not stopped them completely. He will still try to bring his ancient into this world. You must continue what our ancestor Max has started. You must gather the artifacts and call forth an ancient to combat what Augustus brings into this world. Of the artifacts, there are four. But one of these is in the clutches of Pius himself. They are the Black Heart of Mantarok, the Claw of Chaturga, the Sigil of Zelototh, the Veil of Ulyauth. Your skill in the arcane science will not be as strong as Pius's, who has had two millennium to prepare his gate. You will need all the remaining artifacts to match his power. It all rests with you, my dear. I wish you well in this desperate act. I wish I had more guidance for you, but I am at my wit's end. I feel I'm running out of time. Your loving grandfather, Edward. Well, we got two of those, so... Just need the last one of Ulioth. And this is the last chapter page in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Next time on Eternal Darkness and his Requiem, we will start this chapter. Feel free to comment, like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Peace out, and stay maniacal in a good way.